So Shane, you know, one of the things I love about having started this outlet like 25 years ago is like, I get to go beyond PC sometimes and, and ask like some real questions that the community want to ask. So like, oh shit, you've been a, you've been an actor. You, I mean, you did, you did, you know, uh, so many projects before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I, I forget the Spielberg one on the, on the, the war Saving one. And all, yeah. Yeah. Saving Pride Ryan and all these things. And so you didn't, you didn't cut your teeth just on power and power ghosts. But you got into this black famous area as an actor, and not that you don't know black people individually, but how does it feel like to have got into this arena where you're famous on black Twitter, where Secession is a great show, but it, it's not black Twitter, you know, discussed like that. Like like every week, people know about Shane Johnson and AKA Cooper Sacks. Like, how does it feel just to get that like? inertia from the the black twitter community yes it's really funny man listen it's one of those things that uh being um that that's a really funny concept because it's something that i do think about and feel like i'm kind of like well what do i do with this as an actor because there is definitely a reality to being that i am and I don't want this to, I, I got to be careful because of this, I really don't want this to sound like a racist thing because it's not, but yeah. it's like one of those things where if I'm, if I'm like in New York and I'm, and I'm around a bunch of black people, I'm like, oh, these people probably know who I am. If I'm in Los Angeles about around a bunch of white people, I'm like, these people don't know who I am. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just reality. That's just true. Yeah. Like, dude, when somebody, when some, when some white person stops me out of the blue and it's like oh my god i really love your work on power i'm like oh my god you watch oh oh thank you like i'm just surprised by that so there's definitely yeah. a um a really interesting beautiful and um for me in my life you know it's one of the things that i'm most proud of is being in the community that i'm in like my mentors you know my mentor is richard lawson who okay. is um, who's you know been my acting teacher he's black he's a, he's been through black exploitation films you know he's yeah. been in this business for 60 years now you know he's uh he's beyonce's stepdad now you know so he's yeah. been in business forever and he's my he's like one of my greatest friends and he's my mentor and my acting teacher and and then being on the show i go i got yeah, i'm gonna i'm in an interesting position being that i'm like this white ass lily white motherfucker from a small farm town in the middle of washington state um where it's just kind of like it's an interesting great kind of feeling where i feel like i i feel like i'm meant to do some good in my life with culturally bringing people together being a healing factor that i just you know, I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure what that is, but I feel yeah. like, um, I feel like it's important, man. And I feel like it's something that weighs on me because I feel like, you know, as you know, man, this, this stupid divide, I mean, anytime anything comes up, people are like, oh, I'm over here. I'm over there. It's black, it's white. And I'm just going, God, it's just like this. It's, it's more complex than that. And people are more nuanced than that. And there's more, more there's more love in this world than that. And, um, and so it weighs on my heart, man. I, I really do yeah. feel like, I feel like I'm in an interesting intersection and I, I hope that I have the balls. Uh, I hope that I have the, the gumption to, to, to tackle that world because I feel like it's going to take people. It's going to take, and by the way, it's going to take artists like you, like me, it's going to take artists to go, I see the way through this. Because politicians yeah. aren't going to do it. Right, right. Politicians aren't going to do it. Teachers aren't going to do it. Well, teachers could do it, but teachers aren't going to do it. People probably aren't going to do it. Just random people. It's going to be the artists, the storytellers, the people that bring people together, you know? That, yeah. That it's, I mean, I think it's a beautiful thing. There's nothing, it's one of the coolest things to me that I that I can, like, listen, man, I was at a, I was at a restaurant and then I went to a concert with Kevin Hart and Kevin Hart's like, bro, I'm such a huge fan. And I'm like, dude, you're Kevin Hart. What are you talking about? 
I'm a fan. What are you talking about? Like the fact that the fact that that's a world that like I get to dance around is like just it's 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 awesome, man. I love it, and I and I hope that I can figure out why God put me here to like go, hey, hey, asshole figure out a way to navigate this so that it becomes something important rather than just like you can pay your bills because we're yeah. all trying to pay our bills. But like, what is life about, man? What's the legacy? How can we, how can we, how can we change the, the culture? How can we change the narrative? And that would be exciting to me. I know I got way off topic, but you asked the, you asked a loaded yeah. question. Man. Hey, that was a good answer though. I think, I think the audience would love to see that. And, um, I think it's been like nine, nine years since you started with, with power. It seems like it's been about nine or 10 years. It's been, it's been nine seasons, 10, over 10 years, man, over yeah. 10. Years. And people probably wanted you like dead from the first episode. You, you, <laughs> like you was like, you like the character that you love to hate. I know that you always don't know where the writing is going to go from season to season, but would, I know you didn't know about a spinoff coming later, but would you have ever expected your character who had so much angst against him for, for, the, for the portrayals that he was doing to have lasted this long? Like, I mean, like, it's, it's people have, like thought that she would have been gone by now. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Me too. Me too. I got to give it, I got to give it up to the writers and, you know, Courtney Camp for, for seeing the, the vision of like how this character could evolve. I also feel like, you know, one of the one of the things that I think is um, is hard as an artist. One of the hardest things to do is to kind of like to take a step back and and look at a piece like Power, and 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 look at it like it's a like it's a symphony, and kind of go, well, what is my instrument? What is my instrument? And and I pretty much early on, I was like, OK, I can't because we already have like two fiddles and we've got, you know, like a guitar, a couple of guitar players and a piano. We've got the drum player like I got to be something else. Yeah. And so I came in and I was like, I'm going to be the triangle. You know, I'm going to be I'm going to be something <laughs> that people go, oh, well, I guess we need more triangle, you know. And, yeah. and and I feel like that has kept me around. And that has kept me relevant because, you know, you, you know, when it comes to art, when it comes to this kind of world, it's like, what is your, what is your instrument? And, um, and how do you differentiate yourself? And, um, and I'm not trying to say that it was totally because of me. I think a lot of it was because of Courtney seeing the, the character and where it could go. Um, and when she came to me with the concept of a spinoff, as you, I'm sure you felt this way too. When when she said, "Hey, would you like to be part of the spinoff?" I was like, "Yes." And then she was like, "We're doing a Tariq spinoff." I was like, "Awesome, yes, hundred percent." And then she walked away, and I was like, "Who the hell wants to see a Tariq spin? Everybody <laughs> hates Tariq." You know? Yeah. And then, but but this is the genius of writing, man. It's the yeah. it, it, all comes back to the writing like you you know actors get a lot actors are on the posters and they get the accolades and they get the like but at the end of the re, the reality is is the writers and the writers are on strike right now yeah and the writers are the ones that go let me visualize let me imagine some insane shit that'll make your that'll rock your world and then the actors are tasked with going like oh how do i how do i make this seem legit how do i bring this to life and um, it all starts with the writers. So I, I, I take I take some credit because I think that I brought my sense of humor and I brought my 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 acting chops and stuff like that to it. But I think that at the end of the day, I, I would give it up to the writers and say that they they've made Cooper Sacks who he is. OK, Diana, first off, from now on, you only talk to me. Us. You should be out real quick. I mean, they don't have a case against you and they know it. Well, they do have that video. And they might have gotten the bag from the locker. A bag whose contents you have zero first-hand knowledge of. Okay, okay, let's say that's true. We should still discuss who told you about those lockers. Immaterial if she doesn't know what's in the bag. Well, she hasn't exactly said. She hasn't said she does. Because we haven't heard her side of the oh, story. Can you both just shut up? You're right. Excuse us. We haven't even asked what you want. Please, go ahead. They are threatening to go after my family. So none of this falls on anyone but me. Understood. 
absolutely. But that might require you to plead guilty, and as officers of the court, we can't let you do that if you're, in fact, innocent. Okay, well, what if I do know what was in the bag? Oh, I'm, partner, I am so sorry. So, so sorry. Ah. You know what? Come on. Come on, let's Jesus go get that Christ cleaned up, is. man. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. We got a sous vide pork chop over here. Diana, I believe we have enough for now. Or was. I, I, or was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I got I gotta ask because you you've navigated so many changes first, you know, a spinoff, you know, Courtney has, you know, done is doing other things with her career, 50 is doing other things with his career. And also this season, I mean, we've seen last season you start where you're having these this scene partner working with Red Man as uh as, as Davis's brother, met the man's brother, and now you have Jordan Mahomes. Like, how did you navigate all those changes also within the project that was happening frequently, but you guys seem to, like, make happen seamlessly on the screen to just keep it going? Like, how did you navigate those changes? Well, you know, I think that that's on the on any given day. It's like what is what is handed to you is kind of like what you have to deal with. And, you know, Red Man had whatever, whatever things he, he was, you know, preoccupied. He had other state things going on. And so we had this replacement. And so Jordan and I thought Jordan did a great job. He's a good actor. And it was good working with him. And the reality is, is, you know, things don't there's it's also a business. Sometimes people aren't available. You know, sometimes people go on tour. Sometimes people do, you know, things. So um the show must go on and the job of the actor is to go okay that's not ideal but how do we how do we make the most of it how do we how do we find uh the the way to connect to it so that the audience so that the audience sometimes forgives it but so so that also sometimes you go hey this might even make it better yeah. this might even yeah. make it you know um so you know i like for me I just feel like I'm always at the mercy of of a script. It's just that's just the reality, dude. I mean, even when it comes to like my my death, my murder, it's like the script shows up and it says Cooper Sachs gets killed. That's what's happening, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. and I got to put my emotions aside and my 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 ideas aside about what was should have happened, could have happened, would have happened. And just kind of go, okay, how do I make the most out of this? And, yeah. um, and do, I mean, it's emotional. It's like, you know, gut wrenching because you're thinking, you know, you're going, well, well, I thought, I thought this and I thought that, and I wanted this. Cooper Sachs was supposed to have a family and have like five children. And what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know. and I, I know I'm running out of time, so I got to wrap it up. But you spoke about the writers earlier. And, and, and as you said, the, there's a WGA strike. I know that you do animation. You're a creator yourself. I mean, what do you think would shake out from, you know, this new collective bargaining agreement? What do you think, like, it's gonna, what do you think the, the, the next phase of, of creators, like, what do you think some of the things that might change going forward might, might look like? Well, I think the, 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 the future is that people like you, and people like me look at the system differently. The system is changing, man. The system's changing rapidly. It used to it used to be you were on a network, and there were like people that were sanctioned by the network to write the scripts. The actors sometimes the listen, old school was the actors belonged to the studio, and the actors would just do whatever the studio said, you're doing this now. Whereas now we're the storytellers, we're the we're the creators, we're the we're the people that are, we're, and we're also the PR. I mean, you look at 50, you look at what 50's doing, you know, love him or hate him, 50's the PR machine for like a, a multi-billion dollar industry that he has created and that he sustains, right? But, and so 
you have to go, you know, you kind of go, there's used to be the guys in suits that didn't know how to tell a story were the ones that were going like, mm, well, yes, we'll give him a chance and we'll give her a chance. And well, we like this actor and we like that actor. Whereas now it's like all bets are off. All bets are off. And I think it's an exciting time. It's a scary time because old dudes like me, I mean, I'm, I'm 47, right? And so older, you know, people that didn't grow up on Instagram and Twitter, were kind of going like, hey, what do I, how, what do I do? Like, what's this crap? Because we just, we're trained actors that are just trying to tell a story. And we got people behind us going, yeah, I got 5 million followers. And so everybody wants me. You're a loser. <laughs> You know, so I'm going like, oh, crap, I thought I thought that my crap meant something, you know, so so it's yeah. a, a, a brave new world. And I think it's exciting. I think that the, the reality is, is eventually uh, the scary part for the producers when it comes to the WGA and the directors and also the actors. I think the scary part in the future is that, you know, the creatives are the ones that they're really leaning on. It's a it's a trillion dollar industry that is on the backs of people that are creating content. Yeah. If you create content and you create good content, they're beholden to you because they don't know how to do it. Yeah. They just yeah. happen to have, they just happen to control the mechanism, but you're the one that's bring. it's like, they're, they're the people that have like a, uh, we make t-shirts. We, we know how to do the, the silk screening. But you're the one that's bringing all the content. All they do is they just go like this and print the thing. And then they sell millions and they make most of the money. They make most of the money, but you're the one that's coming up with all the ideas. And as soon as that, as soon as that gets a little like out of control, then they start getting very uncomfortable. And we start going, well, hold on a second. You're selling our, you're selling my t-shirts now into other markets and you're not, and I don't get any money from it. And they're going, and? And you're going, yeah, it's not cool. So yeah. it's it's a it's weird, man. And part of it is because the the whole huge global market has shifted. It's it's so small now. We're all connected to the phone. What we're doing, like everything, is so connected now. And yeah. I think it's it's beautiful and it's scary and it's weird. Like, listen, I sometimes feel like a dinosaur, dude. I'm looking at what people are doing on TikTok, doing stupid dances and getting like 50 million views and stuff. And I'm going like, what? <laughs> like I went to college for this. You know, you know what I mean? And these guys are yeah. just going like going, oh, I'm going to put pop rocks and like soda in my mouth and stuff's going to shoot out my nose and I get a hundred million views. And I'm going, hold on a second. I, I trained as an actor for like 10 years, you know? Yeah. And, um, and so it's, it's, uh, but if you resist it, it'll pass you by. If you yeah. resist it, it'll pass you by. And so the, the, the most important thing I think is to get on the wicket and go, all right, this is what we're doing. Don't fight it. Have fun with it. Figure it out, you know, yeah. be kind. And, um, and so that's what I'm trying to do. It's hard because I don't think about posting every 10 minutes. I don't, I think about posting like once a month, <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, we what? need those. We need those young creators to post every ten minutes and put pop rocks in their mouth, and we need people like you to like give these performances, uh, create the animations that you're creating, do all the stuff that you got coming forward for you, and give us, you know, these last ten years, these last nine seasons of of uh, Cooper Sacks and whatever you got going forward, man. And we're gonna look forward to it, Shane. Like you know, uh, you made a new fan out of me and a lot of people and we can't wait to see whatever you Thank got. Thank you, man. Thank you.